And I think one element of the game that separates the kind of really good players to the, uh, the average, let's say, is often their short game, where we can really capitalise on our lesser performance off the tee and long irons and those kind of more difficult elements of the game is from 100 yards in. And if your wedge play is good, it can make a huge difference to how you score. So today I am at Four Golf. I'm on their par three course. I uh, rarely feature this course, probably even ignore it at times. It's got nine small little greens all in and around 100 yards. The wind is blowing. The question is, and the challenge is, is how many of these greens can I hit? Play nine holes, nine shots. Comment down below. How many do you think I will hit? And I'm going to go for... Do you know what? I'm only going to go for five out of nine. These are tiny greens, wind's blowing. It's tougher than it looks. Right, so starting off hole number one, 115 yards. The wind is howling up there. I'm going to guess that looking by the direction, we've got a little bit of assistance. I'm going with 54 wedge. I can't see the, t uh, the green from here. And as you can see from uh, that angle I've just filmed for you, it's just tucked away around a little corner. Often you see a dog leg blind th uh, par three. Anyway, I've got a line. Can we get this one off to a good start? I don't want to feel like, because I've gone 54, I want to really go after this. I want to try and keep it smooth. Go. Well, that's a little bit short and a little bit left with zero from one. Well, I should point out, we only missed the green by, well, maybe a couple of yards and uh, it also wasn't short. So at least we got the club right. We're just a little bit left on the first hole. Right, hole number two is just 105. I can see from the flag that the wind is coming off the coming off the right to left. I don't think the wind's hurting, so I'm going to stick with that um, 54 wedge and try and get this one a little bit right of flag. Right, come on. Go ball, go ball, go. Right. I think we could be on the score sheet. Hopefully, if it's got enough club on it, I think it was on the right line, just drifted in a bit, and we might have got to that front edge. You know, the good thing about this type of challenge is that uh, it kind of, you put pressure on yourself to try and do good. So obviously, uh, you know, I've got no one to beat here, but by setting up a challenge of trying to hit as many greens as I can over the nine holes, well, that just builds a little bit on that tee box. And rather than me just carelessly take a swipe at it, that concentration level just ramps up a little bit. And the good news is, we have a ball on the green. Right, so I've got three wedges in the bag, and that's a pitching wedge, I've got a 54, and I've got a 58. So, arguably we're missing one wedge out of there, which would be 50 to fill the void, but 110 into the wind, and off the right, you can see from the tops of the trees, it's gusting away up there. But I like the idea that I can actually see the flag. Don't be put off by the white flag, that's foot golf, but uh, we've got, the first green that I can see. Come on. Took a little bit off that, it's right on line. If we've got the yardage right, sit down, sit down. Yes, that's another one hit. We're on a run, or a roll even. Do you know what, I swear I'm a better player when the wind blows because, uh, well, it's another thing that concentrates the mind a little bit. So right now, we're two from three. I'm happy with that. Okay, big debate over this one. This is 1-3-1. Uh, one, one. I, I think it's pretty much the longest hole we're going to play. But the wind is right behind us, and this is a real narrow green. I'm half tempted to play a pitching wedge and sort of chase one up there a bit. A bit more of a linksy style shot. That's what we're going to go with anyway. Now, what you've just witnessed there is, uh, well, just how windy it is. <laughs> right, let's try that again. Nice and easy, come on. I'm really happy with the way I've played that. Hope that camera stays up. Ah, oh, stay on. Do you know what? I'll be perfectly honest with you. We've missed the green by, I reckon, about a foot. Ah, I'm really happy with the way I played that one, irrelevant to the fact that I can see it now. 
we might even be a foot off it's a matter of inches but the idea of being able to play a variety of shots with wedge is something that i really uh, i really like it's something the more though the more, the greater the variety of golf courses you play in golf um so whether it be a links course or parkland course they often throw up different challenges so to have that kind of lower shot in the bag it's uh it's a good one i'm pleased so i'm pleased with it even though we've just gone two from four and the closer i get to this hole it just sickens me just to how far off we missed it or little we missed this one by and i'm literally pin eye as well well my biggest challenge right now is uh ensuring the camera doesn't fall over 95 yards wind off the left uh there's a bit of a dip in the front of this green and again i'm just going to play a lower um, sort of pitching wedge is what I'm going to try and execute. We shall see. Come on. Yeah, like that and kick on. Kick on and sit. 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 We've got a green. A little bit left of flag, but we're back on a green. We're back on a roll. Three from five. Now, as ever, I really like to hear from you in terms of that comment section. So let me know what you think of this challenge. But more importantly, I want to know what you think of your own game in terms of 100 yards in. Um, for me, again, it's a bit hit and miss at times. It's something I'd like to sort of, I'd like to get better at because I feel like that's the area of the game where, like I said earlier on in the video, you can certainly save um, or create what is an, an average round into a really good round. So for me, it might be something that I really try and focus on working on this year. But let me know, is that something, is it an area you choose to work on or uh, would you just ignore it and just keep getting that big dog out when you get the driving range? Right, sixth hole. So what is it? We're three from five, aren't we? We've got 100 yards. This is straight back into the breeze. See that flag uh, straight into me. Well, again, I like the fact that I can, uh, I can see it's right in front of me. I can see everything. No hidden, no hidden uh, surprises up there. I'm going to go with wedge again. Certainly in these conditions, it's uh, proven to be a better option. Oh, and you're playing well. I'm liking that. Get in the hole. Sit down now. I was right over the flag stick. Yes, we've hit another green. It's probably about 10 yards too long, but really happy with that. Lovely controlled tempo. Okay, so one thing you'll notice, we're on hole seven, this is 107 to the flag. Um, one thing you've noticed today that I've been playing, uh, 107 to center, and that was the point I was about to make. I've played everything in terms of the yardage to the center of the green. I've got no range finder out to get the yardage to the flag, because often again for me, we just get a little, we overcomplicate things a little bit by searching out that flag number. If you're playing big greens, and I mean big, big greens, then maybe there's a huge yardage difference. But for most average golfers, if we can hit that middle of the green, that's the safest option for us to get down in the shortest possible number. And there's a big gust of wind come again. Right. Flag is on the left-hand side, but again, we're going centre of the green. Come on. We've got a bit of tempo going at the minute. It's the right yardage, right? Sit. Sit. Oh. I'm really annoyed at that because that's gone through the green by a couple of yards. So again, we found the green in terms of landing on it, but it just rolled through that little bit. And because of that, I've now missed another green. And I was on a roll there. It was a nice swing again. What's really good about this as a challenge is that's where the flag is tucked away. And like I said, we were going to center of the green, which is sort of, this was my line. The ball has ended up just off the back there. But I will say that it's a very, very narrow green. And uh, in a good way, this is a tough old challenge. With the wind blowing the way it is, and the greens to being as narrow as that, then, uh, well, I can say, okay, I'll accept that one. Right, okay, so we've got 120 to, again, what is a, a long and narrow green. And this is a, well, this is tough all round. Um, but certainly with that wind off the left, it doesn't make it easy. Because like I said, it's so narrow, the green. I'm going to go without finding that the sort of like sort of controlled wedge in these conditions is better than me attempting to throw the ball up in the air. So again, we're going for a more linksy style shot and we're going to try and chase this one up a bit. Come on. 
Well, it's higher ball flight than they intended, but it's right on line. Sit, sit. Probably one of the best today. Slightly different to how I intended, I must admit, but the main thing is that more controlled swing kept that club head perfectly square, but right down the throat of it. We've gone past the flag again, maybe for the five or 10 yards looking from here. But I'm happy with that because don't forget, I said five from nine, I've just hit five from eight. They've got a chance of breaking my own target. Okay, so there's the reveal on hole eight. Probably the closest we've been to the flag. Well, it most certainly is the closest we've been to the flag all morning. And uh, as I said, from the angle we came at, which was this one, it's pretty much rolled straight past the hole. So we'll take that. Right, final hole of the day in another 128. So the second longest we've played. I'm again going with wedge. We're into the wind. And to be honest with you, this might need a bit of a hit because uh, 130 into the wind, it's going to take some getting there. We're going with wedge again. Come on, this is for six from nine, which in today's conditions, I'd be more than happy with. Ah, oh, he's pulled it. He's pulled it, it's the worst shot of the day. Oh, what a disappointing end to today's video. Full wedge, forced it left, and that really highlights a major issue that I've got as well. Right, so that means we finished with five from nine, which was my target, and I suppose I've got to be happy with that. What I really liked about it was the challenge itself really made me focus my attention, even though I'm playing golf on my own. All the holes, like I said, in and around that 100, we've got a couple there that are around the 130 mark, but they really start to highlight the problems with your own personal short game, and you might start to recognize trends as well as to what goes wrong. I certainly know for me, when I'm hitting a sort of three-quarter swing with wedges, not bad to be fair, it's when I start it a full wedge as we've just done on the last, I have got the tendency to pull and turn the ball over to the left hand side. So now I know that uh, I'm gonna get some lessons and I'm gonna really look at sharpening up and why exactly I turn that ball over so much when I've got that, uh, when I've got full swing with wedge in hand. Right, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the challenge as much as I did, because like I said, that was good fun. Go out there yourselves, find a par three course, see how you get on, can you do better than five from nine? And I'll be doing this again in the weeks ahead and seeing if I can get a little bit better in less windy conditions. Right, thanks for watching. See you all soon.